This mind-blowing AI tool will take you anywhere, even if you've never edited before. This is my original background, and the generative filter in Photoshop lets me transform my room into anything by simply typing in my idea. So I partnered with Adobe to show you how to bring your ideas to life, even if it's your first time editing. So let's dive right in. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to redesign a scene by editing one frame with generative fill in Photoshop and then applying it to an entire video in Premiere Pro. If you're only interested in learning how to edit photos, feel free to skip to the next chapter of this video. But since I want to use the power of Adobe Firefly for filmmaking, I'll import my footage into Premiere and drag it to create a new sequence. Here we want to click Export Frame to grab a screenshot of our video. If you don't see this button, simply edit from the button editor. I'm going to call it Base Frame and save. Open up Photoshop and import your image. Here's where the magic happens. To see the new AI tools powered by Adobe Firefly, make sure you're using the latest version of Photoshop. So duplicate your base layer, make sure the copy is selected, and click Select Subject on the contextual taskbar. Photoshop immediately recognized the person in frame and selected it. But I also want the chair behind me to be included. So I'll grab the Quick Selection tool. It takes care of the details for me and automatically identifies the edges of the object. Now to the fun part, click Create Mask. With the control button pressed on Windows or Command on Mac, click the mask you created and invert your selection. Now that you have the entire area you want to edit selected, it's time to click Generative Fill and type in whatever's on your mind. I want to be surrounded by a breathtaking mountain view. So I'm going to type in just that and let Generative Fill do its magic. In a few seconds, Photoshop has generated multiple breathtaking mountain views for me to choose from. Check out the lighting it created around my chair in this one and the shadows that blend with the original image so realistically. That's the real power of generative fill in my opinion, because these details make all the difference and before this tool existed, it took so long to get them right. But now we can focus more on creativity and try new ideas faster. So save your design and let's take this to outer space. Following the same steps, I'll select my background and type in where I want to be, on a rocky sci-fi planet. Oh, wait, we can make it even better. With the lasso tool, I select the area I want to edit and click Generative Fill. Let's add a distant sci-fi planet behind the mountains. Whoa. I like this one, it has this cinematic haze and glow. So I'll save this design too and head back to Premiere. I'll import my different designs and drag the first one into the sequence I created earlier. Make sure to place it on a track different than the one of your original video. I'll drag the original video above the edited image and create an ellipse mask. This way, the head area is visible and the rest is transparent, so we see the image underneath. Now the background of your video can be any image you create with generative fill. But wait a minute, we're on YouTube. I need this video horizontal, right? No problem. That's where the new generative expand comes in. Back in Photoshop, I'll import a frame from the video I want to expand, select the crop tool, and choose the aspect ratio I want to work with. And without even typing in anything, I can simply click generate. You'll also see the Generative Expand option alongside the other crop options in the top bar. And there it is. In just a few seconds, Photoshop created a set extension to my room, while taking into consideration the lighting and even the wide-angle lens of the original shot. I'll do the same with my two other shots. Actually, let's try and make this a bit more interesting. With your Generative Expand layer selected, you can give Photoshop guidance on how you want your image expanded. Maybe something like Mountain View with cows in the distance. <laughs> okay, I think I'll go with Remains of a Castle. Perfect. In Premiere, I'll adjust my sequence settings to be horizontal, and I'll replace the vertical images with the horizontal ones. You can either delete and then drag over, or simply press Alt while dragging the new image over the one you want to replace. Same goes for the original shot, because we want it expanded too. To wrap this up, let's add a cinematic camera movement to the entire scene. I'll select all clips, right-click, and nest. 
Here, it's as simple as going to the effect controls panel, adding position and scale keyframes at the end of the clip, and then slightly zooming in at the beginning of the clip. Beautiful. Feel free to play around with the sound effects and transitions to really bring your scene to life. And here's what our final result looks like. The generated filter in Photoshop lets me transform my room into anything by simply typing in my idea. So now that you can bring any idea to life with Adobe's generative AI, let your own point of view shine through. To try Adobe's generative filter in Photoshop, check out the description below. I can't wait to see what you'll create.